Eliezer Posada is from the Valley, specifically West Laco. Here's Texas, of course. We're going to zoom in a little bit to show you exactly where this is. There's West Laco, which is about, oh, 15, 16 miles from where a number of children are being held separate from their parents. So for Posada, this is as personal as it gets. Knowing that this is happening right now in the places where where. Uh, where, where I grew up, where I played around with other kids. Eliezer Posada is talking about his roots. Even though I'm in North Carolina now, um, you know, I still consider the, the valley my home. It just makes me, I don't know, sad and, and just angry at the fact that this is going on in my hometown. His mother is from Houston, his father from just across the border in Mexico. My whole family has been from that area for, for generations and generations. Half of them on, on the American side, half of them the, on the Mexican side. Uh, we joke around that the border crossed us. The Campbell University graduate now working as a community engagement manager for El Centro Hispano in Durham. We as community leaders and as people working in this field have to be the rock that, you know, keeps them from falling apart and it's, it's really tough. He says he takes calls frequently from families in the triangle after loved ones were taken into federal custody. Many times we're helpless. I mean, we, we feel helpless. We can't do anything to, to change the system. Posada this week doing as much as he can for change locally. And I want to thank Eleazar Posada from El Centro Hispano again for helping. Helping the town of Carborough pass a resolution condemning the separation of children from their families a day before the president penned his executive order. It doesn't do anything for the, the other, other kids that are currently away from their parents. Let's find a way to fix this. We've been yelling for years and years saying that the immigration system is broken, and it is. Posada's brother and mother are actually down in the valley right now visiting family. There's a meeting next week with community advocates to continue this conversation.